Hey everyone, my name is Caitlin Griffith and I'm Sustainability Coordinator with the University of Texas at Dallas. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about energy. Where does it come from and um, what does our energy mix look like for the United States and for Texas? And how can you get your energy at home to come from renewable sources? Again, my name is Caitlin Griffith. If you have any questions about this video, shoot me an email at sustainability at utdallas.edu. The UN has developed a great campaign for addressing sustainability holistically. The Sustainable Development Goals are a call for action by all countries, poor, rich, and middle income, to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. They recognize that ending poverty must go hand in hand with strategies that build economic growth and address a range of social needs, including education, health, social protection, and job opportunities, while tackling climate change and environmental protection. After reviewing these goals, I believe that switching your utilities to a renewable-based plan is directly associated with goals number 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13, with possibility to indirectly affect other goals as well. This is a neat chart that shows U.S. primary energy consumption by energy source in 2018. I also like this chart because it shows you a breakdown of what we consider renewable energy to be in the United States. As you can see, the largest portion of this is hydroelectric, followed closely by wind energy, and then biomass energies, with a small portion of solar and geothermal energies. There are five energy use sectors in the United States, and the amounts in quadrillion British thermal units, or quads, of their primary energy consumption in 2018 were one, electric power, 38.3 quads, two, transportation, 28.3 quads, three, industrial, 23 quads, four, residential, 6.9 quads, and five, commercial, 4.7 quads. Also to note, a British thermal unit is the amount of heat needed to raise one pound of water at maximum density, one degree Fahrenheit. It's the standard unit of measure for energy. At first glance, this looks like a wicked complex chart, but if you take a closer look, you'll find out a lot about U.S. energy consumption. The point of this is to show you how much of each kind of energy is forming our electricity profile and how much of that is designated for residential use. We generate 101.3 quads nationwide, and 38 of that is designated to the electrical power sector. We then lose about two-thirds of this in electrical system energy losses. This is basically energy loss during generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. A small percentage of the original 38 quads is made up of renewable energy, about 17%. For comparison, the rest of the electrical power sector is 31% coal, 28% natural gas, and 22% nuclear. It makes up for 42% of home energy use, which is almost half of the energy that we use at home. The rest is mainly natural gas, which is often used in heating and kitchen appliances. Hopefully this allows you to see why opting for a renewable energy utilities plan matters. The more people that opt in for renewable energy, the more people opt out of greenhouse gas emitting sources. I like this chart because it shows you the type and amount of each energy source the United States has consumed over time. In 1950, the U.S. used about 36 or 37 quads of energy, mostly petroleum and coal. Seventy years later, we have effectively tripled our energy use, sitting at just over 100 quads. About 30% of this is from petroleum use, mostly for transportation and industrial use. Due to the greater supply and the slower prices and lower carbon footprint, Natural gas has encouraged rapid growth across all sectors of our country. The U.S. leads the world in natural gas production. Coal still sits at about the same level that it sits at in 1950. And renewable energy has seen a very drastic increase. This chart takes a closer look at home. This is Texas energy consumption by end use sector for 2017. As a heads up, the transportation, industrial, commercial, and residential sectors are called end-use sectors because they consume primary energy and electricity produced by the electric power sector. This is just a quick profile of how much energy is consumed by each part of our economy. You can see that about half of it is consumed by industrial use, a quarter of it by transportation, 
and 12.2% of it is for residential use. This chart reviews where we source our electricity from statewide. You can see that it's largely natural gas based. You can also see that Texas wind and solar energy come into play here, outpacing coal. It's important to note that while natural gas is a better alternative than coal, it still contributes greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Investing in renewable energy now will eventually lead to the expansion of renewable energy infrastructure and thus increasing the supply of renewable energy available, decreasing the price of energy. Here's some quick facts for you. Texas is the top U.S. producer of both crude oil and natural gas. In 2019, the state accounted for 41% of the nation's crude oil production and 25% of its marketed natural gas production. Texas produces more electricity than any other state, generating almost twice as much as Florida, the second highest electricity producing state. Texas is the largest energy producing and energy consuming state in the nation. The industrial sector, including its refineries and petrochemical plants, account for half of the energy consumed in the state. Texas leads the nation in wind power generation and produced about 28% of all U.S. wind power and electricity in 2019. Texas wind turbines have produced more electricity than both of the state's nuclear power plants since 2014. Texas generated 18% of its own energy in 2017. And if Texas were a nation, it would rank fifth in the world for wind energy production, supporting 25,000 wind-related jobs. So why would I want to switch to a renewable electricity provider? Well, you'll decrease your carbon footprint. The average household produces seven and a half tons of CO2 equivalents per year. Are you interested in finding out how much CO2 emissions you produce? Check out the EPA carbon footprint calculator. You can also support responsible consumption and production, promote the growth of sustainable communities, help stimulate the economy, and provide opportunity for decent work. How do I know if I can switch my provider? Well, do you pay your own electricity bill? Awesome, you can switch. Okay, so I want to switch. How do I do that? First, find out if your city is regulated or deregulated. You can do this with a simple Google search, or use Ecosia if you want your searches to plant trees. Regulated markets are vertically integrated utilities that own or control the power plants that generate electricity, as well as transmission and distribution. This means that you only have one option for electricity. However, your provider might still have a renewable energy option. Deregulated utilities are required to divest their ownership in generation and transmission. This essentially means that you have a choice as to who your energy provider is and what kind of energy that is. So you've done your search and you find out you have a regulated market. It's not the end of the world. Plenty of regulated utilities still have options. Head to your provider's website or call the customer service line and investigate if they have a renewable energy option. For example, Denton Municipal Electric is the provider for the city of Denton. However, they offer the option to enroll in GreenSense. Customers can pay on average around five or so more dollars a month on their utilities to receive 100% renewable energy via Texas Wind and Solar. If your city doesn't have a renewable option, contact your city council. It's up to you to make your voice heard. You have to ask for what you want. So you've done your Google search and you find out you have a deregulated market. That's awesome. That means that you can shop and choose the best plan for you. Search providers in your city that offer green energy. For example, the city of Richardson directs you to a provider locator site from their electricity utilities page. From here, search your zip code and see what comes up. For Richardson, the first few providers that pop up have renewable energy in their plan description. Make sure to verify the percentage of power that will come from renewable energy sources before you buy. Then sign up and sleep better at night. So that's all I've got for you guys. Today we talked about the energy portfolio for the United States and for Texas. And we also talked about how you can get your energy at home to come from a renewable energy resource. Thanks. Happy Earth Day, everybody.